The spirit of ecstasy is here once more with thoughts of joy, with thoughts of peace, with thoughts of happiness, with thoughts of all uh, lim limitation being uh, conquered, with thoughts that lift you above all limited thinking, with thoughts to give you all thought, all uh, ideas of success, the ability to lead you into all uh, areas of wealth and all areas of riches and to give you all the secrets of the universe and to cause you to be able to receive all healing power and cause you to be able to be healed of any disease or cause you to be able to achieve anything that you dream of or cause you to be able to delineate down to, to decree a thing to be able to write down a thing to be begin to declare a thing begin to uh, uh, put forth a plan and have it come to a fruition begin to draw up a blueprint for your life and have it happen begin to uh, draw up a uh, an ideal of a great and vast dream that you want to achieve for the world and have it come to fruition. I'm here to give you uh, the healing power that you need to be healed of any disease and anything. The healing power of God it ha has no ceiling. Healing has no ceiling and neither does the love of God. The love of God is without a ceiling. The love of God, God is without limitation. There's no limitation to his power. There's no limitation to his love. There's no limitation to his joy and there's no limitation to his healing. God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. God is everywhere and God is within us. Okay, the, lim the, in the infinite uh, mind of God with all of its intelligence and power lives within us. It's I am within us. It's when we get alone and we get free of all other thoughts and all get all the negativity out. The I am within us says I am here. I am here with cheer. I am here to, here to give you all thoughts uh, that you need. I am here to give you everything, every creative idea that you need uh, to invent, every idea that, that you need to write, every idea you need to compose. I'm here to give you every idea that you need uh, for incentive, every idea you need for, for intense interest, every idea you need for motivation, every idea you need to rise above all depression, every idea you need to rise above all depression. Despondency. I'm here to give you every idea without a ceiling. I'm here to give you the idea of how to get rid of every ceiling, how to get everything that's in your way out of the way, and to get every every uh, destructive thought out of the way, to get every destructive, uh, uh, in constructive, uh, negative thing that's standing in, in the roadblock and put. And it's put forth a roadblock to keep you from achieving what you need to achieve. How to get that out of the way. Uh, I'm here to tell you all uh, uh, the powerful thoughts and all thoughts of, of uh, c constructive thoughts, all energy producing thoughts, all the, all the energy and the healing power and constructive thoughts and creative a creative uh, stimulation is now within you as you turn to the infinite power of God. How great, then, is this healing power of God if you're needing healing today? Know that there is no ceiling on healing. Healing is without limitation. The healing power goes throughout this vast universe. Healing power comes to us in a great vastness of power that is beyond any strength that we could ever imagine. Love and healing is all in this wrapped up in the same thing. Where the love of God is, there is healing. And the, heal the love of God is, with, is the greatest energy and the greatest powerful force uh, in this world uh, and in this universe that there is. It conquers more things than anything, any battle or any battle uh, implement, any weapon of war. It can conquer. It's more vast in its energy than any atomic bomb. Uh, love is, is greater than any other emotion great, uh, or any other physical thing, physical emotion or physical idea that we could ever come up with. The love of God is the greatest, the greatest energy and the greatest force that mankind has ever known. And uh, the love of God uh, has the power to accomplish anything. And the uh, healing power of God is, is all wrapped up in that. And the greater that we can understand and the greater that we can lift our awareness and our acceptance to realize the vastness of the love of God, the greater will be the healing power that we can receive to ourselves to begin to raise us up out of all illness and sickness, and the greater will be the power that we'll be able to transmute and transmit to other people around us and radiate out from us. We'll go forth with an aura of healing. A healing will, will be will be all in a vast circle around us. Everywhere we go, healings will happen. Uh, everywhere we go, we can begin to call it. We can begin to call the, the disease out and, and cause it to be healed. Uh, and, and I mean, just 
I don't mean any kind of uh, intricate thing. I just mean we'll be get, be able to say uh, I can heal this disease. That's all I mean by that. And we'll be able to say, you have this disease, I can heal this disease. And, uh, and the power of God will do it. And the power of God is without limit. And that unlimited power of God will heal your disease. And uh, so whatever you want to ask about that, make sure to put your comments down below about what uh, you're having problems with in the areas of healing. And I'll be glad to continue to answer. I'll be glad to make a special video to answer any problem that you're having with healing. If you're having healing with a, uh, having a problem getting healing of your own body, of whatever type of disease, uh, I'll give you the answer to that. If you are having problems uh, healing somebody that's under your ministry or under your influence or somebody that has asked you to pray for them or give them a healing touch and you're having problems it seems like that the, uh, the healing power is not coming uh, make sure and make your comments i can tell you how about that and uh, how uh, we want to ask ourselves how then how full of real and powerful energy is in the infinite intelligence that lives within us and there's no end to that energy there's no end to that power that power goes on it's as vast as the universe how uh, how great or is the uh, healing power of God. The, the healing power of God is as vast as a great ocean. And, it, it, and when we begin to ask for it and we begin to accept it, it washes over us with more power than the waves of the ocean. Uh, and it begins to just completely flood us. And uh, it, it washes over us just like a Niagara. If you were just uh, standing at the bottom of the Niagara Falls and the Niagara Falls is just washing over you, that's just how, how powerful the healing power of God is. It, it'll, it'll feel like you're just standing at the bottom of the Niagara Falls and the power of God is just overwhelming you and it's just going through every cell of your body and it's going through every atom of your body, completely remaking you, completely construct, reconstructing you. It's giving you energy. It's giving you power. It's giving you joy. It's lifting you up. It's putting you on higher ground. You, you begin to shout. You begin to get happy. You begin begin to enjoy it you begin to feel like you never felt for your life you never have felt that kind of buoyant energy you never have felt that kind of buoyant peace and happiness it just begins to flood you uh, to an overwhelming extent that you can't imagine how you didn't receive that healing before because it's just so vast and so uh, so powerful when it hits you it hits you like a bolt of lightning but it's powerful and it shakes you like an earthquake but it's powerful oh it has the power that th these are just minimal powers when i talk about lightning earthquake niagara's and oceans those are minimal powers that because those are physical powers uh, but this is something that's above the power of this earth this is a spiritual power this is a power that is vast and it's and unlimited and when this power touches you it changes everything Thing. An earthquake will last a few minutes to be gone. Uh, you could be under the Niagara's of the ocean or the waves of the ocean. Uh, you'll come out of that and it'll be gone. But once this power of God hits you and once this healing washes upon you and be healing begins to lift you up uh, and the healing power of God begins to flow out of every cell of your body, it begins to radiate all over you and never goes away, stays with you forever. And you always remember it and you always have that joy and you can never fall back into this bondage or depression or fear again. You can lay down all addictions. You can lay down every habit. You can lay down smoking. You can lay down drinking. <laughs> you can lay down cocaine, heroin. Uh, it's happened many times before. I've witnessed it happen. People lay down their cocaine uh, and the very day, the very second they get this joke. They lay it down. They lay down uh, 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 ecstasy, heroin, cocaine, crack, all of those things. Just immediately lay it down. Alcoholism. <laughs> Alcoholism can be very difficult to uh, have it to break they can lay all that down. They can lay down nicotine. They can, they can be smoking, chain smoking one hour, and the next hour it's all gone. But they're gloriously shouting in the Lord. Uh, the jolt of energy hits them. It's an energy that's far faster than anything you can get from any stimulant. It's an energy that's far faster than anything uh, that you could, you've ever uh, would ever be able to accept or realize other, other than to be uh, touched by the healing power of God. Everyone needs to, at one time or other, be able to t uh, be touched by that great vastness of the healing power of God. God. we need to have it touch us we need to understand it it's a wonderful thing and uh so if you uh, ha if, if, if you have any kind of illness at all oh what a great opportunity that is because then you get to feel this healing power if you never had if you never were ill a day in your life if you never did have an illness at all you wouldn't be able to ever experience this healing power of god oh you can be lifted up in great joy all right but uh, you would but that 
special blessing of receiving healing is a wonderful thing also. And you don't want to miss that. You want to receive that blessing of healing. You want to have, have that uplift. You want to feel that energy. And you want to enjoy it. And you want to, because it's the greatest thing on this earth. It's far beyond. It's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Uh, far beyond anything we could imagine or think of the things that God has prepared for them that love him. We are, uh, cannot ever be separated from the love of God. We cannot be separated from the healing power of God. Remember, healing and love is the same thing. And God and love is the same thing. Healing and God is the same thing. And, and uh, St. Paul says, Romans 8, 38 and 39, for I am persuaded. Oh, you need to get in that word persuaded. When your meditations, meditate 20 minutes a day. Think about these things. Think about what he meant by persuaded. <clears throat> How persuaded can you get? How, there's no ceiling on persuaded. How persuaded you can get. There's no ceiling on the level of your acceptance. There's no ceiling on healing. Uh, there's no no ceiling on any of this. Uh, how persuaded can I get? Oh, far beyond your imagination. I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor principality nor power, nor things present nor things to come, nor angels nor any other creature can ever separate me from the love of God. They can never separate me from his healing touch. He can never accept me from the healing power welling up within inside. He can never accept me from those rivers of living water flowing out of me. He can never never separate me from that radiant uh, aura that's around me uh, that protects me. He can never separate me from those angels that camp about me, from all those wonderful thoughts that he gives me. He can never separate me from the power that pours within me and pours without me and can never separate me from the healing touch and the ability to give the healing touch we cannot be separated from it we can, uh, we'd have to be separated from the love of God to be separated from the ability to receive healing we would have to be separated from the, from the from the love of God to not be able to receive healing of cancer we'd have to be separated from the love of God to not be not be received healing of diabetes uh, we'd have to be separated from the love of God not to receive healing of lupus we'd have to be separated from the love of God to not be able to receive healing of a cold Colds, flus, allergies. Allergy is a, a something that can can be healed very easily. Uh, God can heal it in a minute. Uh, oh, did you just stop and think about that? When you have have allergy, uh, God uh, created this world. He didn't intend for us to have problems with hay or grass or any of those kinds of things. He intended us to enjoy it. It's, he intended us to say beautiful, beautiful hay is beautiful, grass is beautiful, uh, uh, all of the things that vast trees and everything around us, they're all wonderful and beautiful and made to be enjoyed. They're not made to be uh, to be allergic to. We've got that thought in our mind because people told, told us we're supposed to be allergic to stuff. And so we begin to get to let that affect us. But we should say, no, that's created by God. Uh, anything that we're uh, that we uh, see around us, whether it's animals, trees, flowers, uh, those are all created by God, all meant to be enjoyed, and we don't have to be allergic to them. That's an erroneous idea. Get that out of your mind. We don't have to receive any kind of illness into our body. Get that out of your mind. Uh, surround yourself with the thoughts of God. Take out all the thoughts of disease. Forget about them, and uh, surround yourself with that power of God. And uh, I've been so uh, I've been so t so uh, uh, touched by that power of God, and, and had that power of infinite mind within me, welling all over me. I absolutely could go. I would go uh, and walk a mile in 20 degree weather with short sleeve shirt, not even feel the cold. That's how powerful it can be. But that was after a period of, of time of meditation uh, in the uh, in the love of God and how vast His love is, how vast His healing power, and and I uh, I could just enjoy uh, the 20 degree weather with short sleeve shirt and never even feel the effects of anything uh, that's how fast the power of god is but we get that only by getting in the into that time of meditation where we wipe out all those other thoughts we just take you just take and just you know think about a list of all the diseases and just mark them all off completely say i'll never uh, j those are just gone, completely gone from my mind. Uh, let other people talk about that if they want to, but I will not hear of it. Uh, and, and mark out all the, the thoughts of disaster. Walk out, mark out all the thoughts of evil. Uh, won't take any evil thoughts. And uh, l let your mind just be full. Because how can you be thinking of all those thoughts when the Bible tells you what to think about? And, and the infinite mind comes to you and says, here's what you think about things that are good and things that are pure, and things that are full of joy, and things that are full of happiness, and things that are full of abundance, and things that are full of wealth, and things that are full of, ha of uh, all kinds of uh, uh, productivity, and power, and leadership, and things that are ability to 
uh, things that will change the, the world for the better, things that will help humanity, uh, ways that I can love uh, people around me, ways that I can help people. All these thoughts are, uh, are on your mind so full that you can't. there's no room for thoughts of disease or illness or disasters or thoughts of uh, accidents or thoughts of uh, uh, people, uh, dishonest people or deception. Oh, God, this is...